us now for the past 19 years. And she has continued to answer the clarion call whenever she's asked to sing. But that's a very powerful song this morning because we all have been wondering she. But the captain and the master has sought us and brought us safely back to the fold. I want to thank our conductor this morning, Mother, Mother Newton, for leading our service to this time, and Minister McKinsey, the organist, the priest, and all of you who have come to be a part of our service. Are there any visitors among us? I want to extend my thanks to you for coming. I see my two little friends, uh, my mother's friend of mine, she sent them here and after Sunday school they thought church was out. I don't know what kind of church that is up the road there. They took the offering and they said goodbye, church is out. I called, I said, she called me, I was in the pulpit. She said, what kind? And I said, I'll go and pick them up. But they came and we're thankful that they have come. And all of the other visitors this morning, we, we certainly are thanking you for being with us today. Um, your presence here yeah, is enriching us and uh, of course, we hope that at the end of the day, you will have something to cling on to. Daniel has been trying, um, yeah. give him thanks. We hope that he improves, let's pray that he will improve. Yeah. Uh, will improve. And um, Brother Jeremy, it's not like a little ring on this thing, I know what that is. And uh, Brother Jeremy is standing for him behind the box. But you know, okay, I got Jesse. Brother Jeremy, I hear him ring on this thing. So um, we are thankful to, again for all of you for being here today. Let's go to the, the Word of God for, for a few moments and we will thank our photographer, Mr. Lily, Lily Anderson. She is all over the internet and YouTube the photographer, Lily Anderson. I hope I got that name right. That's what I'll be pushing along. And uh, you'll never tell where this will lead you. Let's go to Psalms chapter 127. Psalms 127, we want to take that as our base. And uh, hopefully, in short order, we will be, we'll be out of this place. Oh, this is a good place to be. Yeah. Psalms chapter 127. Except the Lord build the house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchmen wake it in vain. If we want to look at a subject from which to preach this morning, we can easily say, accept the Lord. We did not say accept him. But we say, accept the Lord. Accept the Lord. Let us pray. Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, Lord. You are my strength and you are my redeemer. We are building many things in our nation. We are building roads, we are building bridges, we are building hotels. We are building our own houses and we are building our own little empires. But the Bible tells us this morning that if we are building anything, be it a nation or a people or an individual, if God is not building that, you're wasting your time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important and imperative for us this morning that we make sure that God is in help whatsoever we are doing. Whatever we are doing, it is important for us to make sure that God is involved. We can also look at 
Building lives. Building lives. Our own children's lives. We can build our children's lives in such a way that they do not have one iota of a thought of who God is. We can build them that they can reach the mountain top in society. They can achieve academic standards beyond. But at the end of the day, if Jesus or God was not in that building process, all that we build was the main. Last night I talked with some gentlemen, some young men, and they were <coughs> talking about the enormous amount of young girls who are involved in what I call this thing about liking one another. I asked them, why are you saying that? Do you have proof? And they said, yes, we see it when we go down Bay Street and they say it's rampant in Nassau. So they asked the question of the girls, why are you behaving like this? And they says, we did not have the kind of upbringing that you have. We did not have anyone to tell us about what is right and about what is wrong. So they grew up believing that whatever bucks up, it goes. See, the whole idea is when we talk about accept the Lord, build a house, we're thinking about these material things that can be hit down and then nobody worries about them. But when we, when we start to think about building lives, building people, then we begin to, to understand that if we are not building with God, we're not, we're not inculcating the things of God and, 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 and putting our people, our children in the direction where they are understanding that there is a God. My friends, you're wasting your time. We, we really don't need any more degrees, people with degrees in this land. We don't prove that, we've proven that academics is not working for us. We have proved that whereas it has some value, we, we, we discover that people will spend four years trying to get a piece of paper, and then at the end of the four years, they get the piece of paper and they still do not know anything. Amen. What is important now is that we've got to focus on what really matters. Yes. And what really matters now a day is that we have to train the child in the way he should go. Yes. That when he is old, he will not depart from it. Yes. But there is a equal responsibility yes. on parents to, to model the kind of lifestyle for their children to follow. I would be the first to say that we all have strayed one way or the other. We all made errors in our lives. But when you train that child properly in the things of God, they will not stray far away from it and they will return back to God. Yes. But for some reason, we just began to focus on material things. Giving the children more than they can ever use. We give them more clothes. We, children, children have better cell phones than adults. Yeah. Yeah. Children are buying while the mother and the father cannot afford a sensible dress. The children are dressing up in, in expensive clothes. Yeah. We go all to provide this education for the children by paying exorbitant fees. But we miss the most important thing, and that is the training the child 
in the faith that there is a God. Yeah. And that he is a supreme being and that he is infinitely perfect. Yeah. Yes. Build it. You can build. Just continue to build. Just continue to ask God out of your equation. You're going to have a, a rude awakening. You're going to have a very rude awakening because there's not going to be fair weather all the time. You're not going to have everything easy. Things are going to fall in on you. Yeah. And it will fall in on me. And if you don't have something bigger than yourself, You will find something yeah. to pacify you. Yeah. There's no lack of young people who have, have strung out on illicit drugs, strung out on alcohol, strung out on all kinds of crazy stuff yeah. because they have not, they do not believe that there's a God and they do not believe that God is able to keep them. See, the, the only st stabilizing factor in this earth is the fact that there is a God. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Some people have decided that we're not going to build our confidence in, in this good God. We're going to build our confidence in the evil God. Yeah. A God will give us and then destroy us. And so they teach their children how to be, how to be crooked, how to be deceitful, how to be, how to be uh, everything that is bad. They teach their children. They sit down and drink. They sit down and smoke. They sit down and do all manner of evil with their children. And they tell them, this is the way that you need to live. But I've come this morning to tell you that's not building with God. And I say, You're going to see the degeneration. If you're not really putting it into them, if you just, if you're not putting it into them, listen to me. Wait a minute. Those of us who spend hours and time trying to mold our children the best way that we know, we have difficult times. We have challenges with them, uh, grappling with, with the issues of. What is real? What is life? And how am I going to deal with this? But so 